everybody, welcome to Red Shadow Forge. My name is Dakota Bell. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a review on our Whitlock's Homestead Forge. This is our second review we've done, so if you check the link below in the, in the description, you can check out our video on A, how to start an anthracite coal forge, and our second one would be our original review of this forge up and running. So today I just wanted to go over, we've had this for about two years, and it has lasted very well over the, the two years. I've used it quite a bit. We run anthracite coal in the forge, even though it's designed for a wood wood forge. You can use wood, coal, charcoal, whatever you choose, but this thing does withstand the temperatures that anthracite coal gets to, which anthracite gets really, really hot. So I'm gonna talk about our setup. The website, if you check out whitlocksforge.com, they have a couple different options as far as blowers go. You can get a hand crank blower or an electric motor. We, did, we decided not to order a blower from them and we use a bucket head blower, which we got at our local hardware store. And it was about $20, $25. Um, we use that every time we use this forge. It's quick, it's easy to set up, and it really gets the coals right where we want them. So the only thing that I have to say negatively about the forge is that they include wheels so that it can be moved around but as far as the actual leg stands themselves, they go down so far that when you're trying to wheel the forge around, especially with the fire brick in it, it's very heavy. So it's not as easy as I would like it to move around. It does work and it is efficient. It's just a little inconvenient in my opinion. So we got the hard fire brick ordered with the forge when we ordered it. And we went back later on and purchased the hood, which I will put on here in a minute and show you guys. The forge does work great. It does absolutely everything it's supposed to. The frame is very sturdy. I've moved it around from New Jersey to Illinois. I've moved it around the backyard, in the garage, all that stuff. So it does work. It's very well put together. It's a very good design. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the hood on it. And it's super easy to put on. just lines up right over the fire brick. There's no fastener to lock the hood down. So if you're, if you're wanting to fasten it down, you can either build your own or maybe check the website. They might have some kind of locking device on it, but I haven't needed it really. And it's really convenient. If I want to take the hood off, I can just lift it off and move it. This we purchased at our hardware store as well. This little stack right here just kind of provides for a good chimney. Overall, this thing's a really nice forge. You can find them on whitlocksforge.com starting around 400, I think. So they're not super expensive. It's a long lasting forge. And that's pretty much it. I give this thing a, a thumbs up. If you guys really found this video interesting or if you guys liked it, please check the links below. There are other videos to check out. Like I said, how to start an anthracite coal forge and the original review of this where I do have it up and running. As well as, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have Facebook and our own website and Instagram. So redshadowforge.com. Thank you guys very much and I hope this video was helpful.